Hey, that's just what I need. Mother's place. This is the Yashica 8 T2 camera. Previously, I reviewed the Yashica 8. There are multiple... This information is all online, by the way, at yashikatlr.com forward slash yashika8. You know, when you go on eBay to buy it, you type in Yashica 8 and you get all different models pop up and they're all called Yashica 8. But little did I know that they actually had names. For example, this is the Yashica 8 T2 camera. This camera, also a Yashica 8, is called just the Yashica 8S. Because as you can see, this particular Chic 8 only has one lens, but otherwise it's almost identical. So the camera I'm re reviewing today is the Chic 8 T2. And what's remarkable about it is that it has uh, two lenses on it, which in order to flip, you just do that. Flip it. And also many of the Yashikas come with what's known as very fast lenses. So you may say, well, Mike, what is a fast lens? A fast lens, and this is very important, especially when shooting indoors using low ISO film, a fast lens is a lens that has a very wide aperture. This is f1.4, which if you're shooting our Cine 8 Color 40 film, even indoors with all the lights on, you will be able to get a decent image. So here you have f1.4 and it goes, closes down all the way to f22. Mm. That is awesome. Now this is what's known as a 13 millimeter lens, which is known as like the normal view. And the remarkable thing about the Yashica 8 is that when you're looking through the viewfinder on the back, by the way, here's a little note, Yashica 3. And the reason it says that is because I own three of these, so I just put a little note on the back for myself. It's the third one. Third one that I bought. I do that with my kids. Do you... <laughs> put tags on their heads. So you're looking through your eyepiece, and in order to see the, you know, whatever millimeter lens, check this out. On the side is this Ooh. slider. If you're using your 13 millimeter lens, make sure your view is on 13. Remarkable. So I am a fan of wide angle lenses. So if you turn your turret to the top and this particular lens, both of these came with the camera. This is a 6.5 millimeter wide angle lens. Turn this to 6.5, look at that. And this lens also, very remarkable. This opens up to 1.9, which is great. And this one only closes down to f16, which is perfectly fine. The Yashikas usually come with excellent, excellent lenses. You could buy other lenses as well. You can buy a telephoto 38 millimeter lens, which is terrific. I happen to own one of those. You know, if you're shooting a sporting event or something like that, that would really come in handy. This particular model of the Yashika 8, you can select your frames per second. And as you see, the 16 in red is the norm, which is 16 frames per second. And that is what I recommend you shoot at. This camera has a spring-driven motor. Here's your shutter button. You would wind your motor like so, nice and smooth. And you wind it gently till it stops. Here on the front, R for run, L for lock. And this is very important because when you're putting your camera in your bag, L, you don't want to accidentally run off your entire roll, mm. you know, if it's in run. And it happens easy. Frame counter, which is pretty accurate. I've used it. The roll that's in here is completely shot. I shot this roll on Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Oh, Mother! <laughs> what do you want, Mac? I shot this at my parents' house on Mother's Day. There he is. You're six minutes early. I have to sit up and some weight. Hey, y'all. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Who'd you call a mother? <laughs> and right here in front of you, I'm going to extract the roll. When you're shooting movie film, it does need to be developed before you can see any images on it. 
So I'm gonna take this roll out. Here it is. Put the rubber band that came with it on, back on. Terrific. Put it back in its tin or black bag. Hopefully you, as I will, send this to the Film Photography Project to get this developed and scanned. Once you're done shooting your roll of film, you will always have your original camera spool empty back for your next big adventure. This camera takes Cine 8, what's known as double 8, 8 millimeter film. The Film Photography Project has a variety of uh, color and black and white film, including our popular and recommended Color 40, which is the role I shot on Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Your uh, mother? Right, Mac. Mother's the name. Sam Mother. <laughs> so what you need to know about your film is that it's light sensitive. So unlike digital movie making, you can't really expose your film to light. This is known as a daylight spool, which pro somewhat protects your film. You should load it in very, very dim light. And what we're gonna do is my new method of loading. An eight millimeter camera, you shoot your film twice. You shoot one side, right through your camera, the whole roll, and then you'll take it out, flip it. Flip it. This particular roll I shot, did I tell you, on Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Thanks, mother. This is a very simple camera to load. Follow the arrows around this post through the film gate, and that's your pressure plate. Pressure. You see that? Pressure. Through here, follow the arrow through to your take-up spool. And this camera is unique because it's easy to load, and the pressure plate, pressure plate. isn't closed until, see when you close the door? You see that? That metal piece, when you close your door, pushes the pressure plate closed. That's smart, Joey. It is. I'm going to put the film on the take-up spool. Okay, good. Now I'm going to take the film and simply put it on the thing there, on the post. Bring the film ar around, as, prescri as mentioned, around this other post here. On to the post here. Whoa! Nice. This is light sensitive material. Once you close your door and seal your film compartment, you should shoot the entire side and do not open this because you will then expose your beautiful film to light and ruin part of your roll. Besides using the counter on the back, you can also hear your camera speaks to you. Did you hear that? I heard it. Yep, so we've rolled out, terrific. That means you've shot side one. Open up your film compartment. Oh, look at that. So here's your take up spool and some spools say Film when on this spool is only half exposed. That's because... Uh, flip it! Yeah, I can't stress this enough, folks. Very important to shoot to use your entire roll of film. So you take your take-up spool out of your camera, literally flip it, take your em now empty film roll, flip it, flip it, and then you repeat. There it is. Look at that. Okay, let's test. Whoa. Now you will shoot side two. Right. Ran out. So you finish side two. You now take your film out. That's now complete. You put it, the film back into its canister or black bag. Hopefully send it to the Film Photography Project for developing. Your original camera spool will always wind up back in your camera, empty, ready for your next big adventure. And that's really it. Now with the Yashica 8, always be cognizant of what type of lens you have. For example, the 13 millimeter lens has what's called zone focusing, which means you don't focus through the eyepiece. You have to guesstimate what your focus is. So it's in feet. So if you're shooting outside, you may want to set it to infinity. If you're shooting indoors, let's say at a, a dinner, just guesstimate or guarantee. <laughs> Do like I do, carry a tape measure. You know, an average is like between four and five feet. Always remember to set your f-stop and you will set your f-stop based upon, by the way, 
these cameras have an exposure table for you to set your f-stop now if you see here asa 10 asa is the same thing as iso and modern film is not asa 10 it's 40 or higher so you will need to use a light meter app to set your exposure very important to properly set your exposure and on some lenses like the wide angle lens this is a fixed focus you don't have to worry about focusing do you need to worry about setting your f-stop questions comments leave it down below we have other videos of how to set your exposure i'll say one last thing it's an amazing camera and they could be they could be had inexpensively from ebay.com i hope everyone out there had a good mother's day mother's day mother's the name and here's some footage shot with this camera Oh, here's, here's your box of shorts, right? There's another one there. Hey, class pull your dollar and got off. Doing KP duty? Yeah, automatic. Automatic. Someone's got to do it, right? This is my job. <laughs> <laughs>